what is up you guys it's me your girl unique the iconic and we are back today with another video today today <laughs> today's video we're going to be doing a review with you nice hair bundles this video is not sponsored i did pay for um this hair with my own money so just in case y'all know so i'm reviewing this as a customer so with that being said let's just go ahead and get into the video if you have not already definitely go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos okay you guys so this hair video is not sponsored i actually purchased this hair with my own money um i went and purchased the hair through the unice is it unice or is it unice unice sounds better so i'm gonna say unice through unice's storefront on amazon because i just wanted to make sure that the bundles was good i have worked with them in the past before and i've really liked their hair so i really wanted to try out like their actual hair bundles so i ordered four hair bundles of straight peruvian hair this was like their 10a hair and i got it in 24 inches i paid like 256 for the for all four bundles which is not bad for 24 inch four bundles and they're they're pretty nice so this is the hair it is so pretty like i just took it fresh out the pack as y'all can see and it's actually pretty thick like it's, it's she's she's thick baby she's thick oh this is pretty so yeah y'all see the hair <laughs> and then i am going to try out this tiktok like trend going on where they get like the clear gloss the clear gloss like um yeah, what is it? I can't even speak today, y'all. I can't speak today. The clear gloss, y'all, the little hair dye. The clear gloss hair dye with the silicone mix because my hair is going to need it because it's going to be bleached. So I'm going to mix this and I'm going to try it. I just, I can't wait to see what it's about to do. But yeah, anyways, all right, y'all, just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I am going to do, I am actually going to seal the wefts. I'm using the 30 Second Pro Weft Sealer in the color black. All of the items that I do use will be listed in my Amazon storefront so that you can purchase them. Definitely check, it, check that out in the description box. But since I was going to be manipulating the bundles a lot with a lot of bleach, I just wanted to make sure I could control as much shedding as possible. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the silicone mix and the clear hair dye that I talked about earlier in the video. And I used about half the bottle in this new silicone mix um, that I bought. I will definitely say you don't have to use half a bottle you could use probably just a little less than that because it will start to overflow and do like mines did as you can clearly see so don't be like me <laughs> now I used the B2W on all of the hair bundles when it came to the bleach bath for the first two bundles which were going to be the bundles that matched my actual hair color which is blonde and a, it's like a bright 27 I did two bleach baths. The first bleach bath was with the 40 developer using the Wella T27 toner as you see me use here. And then for the second bleach bath, I used the 50 developer with the toner as well. Now um, you see me here, I'm getting a good generous amount, just mixing it in pretty good. And I used hot water. You don't have to use boiling, but some people do prefer that. But I just used hot water and I made sure it got pretty liquidy as you can see here. And I'm just scraping all the sides. Now I'm just dipping the hair, swishing it around in the bowl to make sure all of the, the make sure the entire bundle is getting submerged into the, the liquid. And I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I washed it out just to check on it. So with these hair bundles, they were pretty dark hair bundles. I will definitely say that. So it did take about two bleach baths to be able to get the blonde color that you will see when I'm washing it out. I used the 40 developer for the first bleach bath and then I used the 50 developer for the second bleach bath. And you'll see here how bright it got after I let it sit for about 10-15 minutes. And this is just me 
washing the hair bundle, the bleach out the hair bundle. So with the next bundle, I decided to try a different method by using the Blonde Brilliance. I wanted to see if there would be a difference in the way the hair bundles came out, if the bleaching normal was better, or if the bleaching bath is the easier process. Now Blonde Brilliance is a higher end um, bleaching agent. I will say that using Blonde Brilliance it is very beneficial if you really wanted to keep your hair like super nice i recommend it for that point because the it that my bundles were definitely very soft after bleaching using this product now whenever i am bleaching my hair bundles in the normal way i make sure i try to spread it out as you can see me here like just making sure i'm getting all of the hairs covered in the bleach now i do flip it over and then flip inside of it as well just to make sure like i said the entire bundle is being covered now, would I recommend this to be able to get the color that I'm looking for? No, because it's not really worth it in my eyes just for me, mainly because of the fact that I needed it to be brighter. But it definitely got the job done, as you can see me here, cleaning the bundle. Now, I used Miracle Moist, the shampoo, and the conditioner, along with the silicone mix. And y'all, like, this this was before i put the conditioner in the hair this bundle was so soft so as i was saying earlier if you are wanting to use it you know to protect your hair or your hair bundles i definitely recommend it now this is me putting the silicone mix on along with the miracle moist from the aussie aussie brand i absolutely love using aussie hair products now the hair have very very minimal shedding and it just it just looks so good like y'all like i was actually very very pleased and i have in the next clip where i'm showing y'all where the silicone mix and the hair dye like look at it that thing is shining like it looks gorge okay okay now i'm just like washing out that conditioner and you'll see me here in the next clip go into the next two bundles which were going to be my highlighted bundles now i bleached the bundles first so that i can get the direct highlights that i wanted by using the b2w using the 40 developer and i'm using like the weaving method as you can see here and i'm just you know doing the same process i did for the first two when it came to the just regular bleaching now it does turn pretty quickly, so I will say you will have to move fast. Now with these bundles, the highlighted bundles, which were my last two bundles, I did do one bleach bath using 40 developer. I used the 40 developer and I let it sit in the developer developer for about 30 minutes so that I can get the bundles as bright as possible, but not too, too bright. So this is what I was telling y'all. As you can see here, the hair bundle these are the first two hair bundles. I'm using 40 developer on both of them to be able to just high, like make it a bit brighter because I have a very bright 27 blonde. You could literally stop here if you wanted to. You didn't have to do this extra stuff that I'm doing, but I needed to, to be able to get this hair color, this hair bundle to match my hair color. Now I used quick blue on the first bundle. This bundle is actually the one that was not used the by the blonde brains this bundle was bleach bath the first bundle is bleach bath as you can see they both looked exactly the same no matter the method but i would recommend if you're someone who's kind of in a rush and you really don't feel like taking all the time to be able to bleach all the bundles like this then yes i recommend the bleach bath now this is the bundle that i used the blonde the blonde brilliance on y'all i'm using just the regular b2w because i kind of ran out of the quick blue and as you can see here, it still looks super gorged, super good. I only, like I said, use this process because I needed these bundles to be brighter. And I figured that with a bleach bath, it does not, it doesn't get as bright as I needed it to. So that's why I did that. But yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And here are the results of all of the hair bundles installed in my head and what it looks like. Mwah.
Okay, y'all, so this is the end result of the hair. I just kind of like wanted to show y'all like all of the dimensions that we got going on. It's a flip over quickly that she did. As you can see, we got the hair with the highlights and it blends like so beautifully with the blonde. But yeah, it looks so good.